Hey guys, I'm Mary Hannah from Expedition Rove, and today I'm going to show you how simple it is to install a dual battery system. We're going to be using a Red Arc BCDC and two Odyssey batteries. This is the same BCDC that we used on the first leg of our expedition. We quite literally pulled it out of the disco because we loved it so much and flew it over here to put it onto Tango. I thought I'd start off by showing you guys how this is all going to get wired up. So the black wire is going to be your ground cable that's going to go to your chassis or your body. The red wire is going to go to your starter battery. The brown wire is going to go to your auxiliary battery. And if you have a solar panel on top of your vehicle or around your vehicle, you'll use your yellow wire for that. When you get your Red Arc BCDC, it'll come with about 12 inches of wiring loom. From there, you're going to need to add in an inline fuse and then the amount of wiring that you're gonna need to go to the location that you're mounting um, your two batteries. First thing you're gonna have to do is decide where you're gonna mount it. So keeping it simple, the easiest way to do it is to mount it closest to your original battery. On our Discovery 2 and LR3, that was underneath the hood, but for Tango, our Defender, it's gonna be underneath the passenger seat. Um, there's enough space in here for both of the batteries and the Red Arc comfortably, so it's a perfect solution for us on this vehicle. First step for us was to remove the original battery and original battery tray and replace that with a dual battery tray that'll allow the two Odyssey batteries to sit side by side. From there, you need to decide where you're gonna mount your BCDC. We decided to go ahead and mount it here on the side of the battery box. We've drilled four holes, so we'll mount that there, wire this up, and then we'll be good to go. You're gonna start by taking the black cable and terminating to a ground. Gonna nip this up, make sure it's nice and tight. Next, we're gonna mount this back to the back wall. We've already drilled our holes and inserted six mil rib nuts. Um, so now we're just gonna be adding in the bolts. So that's hand tight and we're just gonna nip these up. Now our red arc's in place. So we've now dropped the two batteries into the battery tray and added in a ground um, to the negative with a link between the two negatives. We're going to add in the positive to the positive terminal and tighten that up. All right, now that we've got our positive on, we're going to start adding in the red arc cables. So first and foremost, the red to the starter cable. You wanna be incredibly careful not to touch anything else because your positive is on, which means we are live. Do that by hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up. Again, making sure to be careful not to touch anything else. All right, that's on. Now we're gonna go over to the ground wire, which is gonna be connected up to your auxiliary battery. And last piece for us is gonna be to add in this cable, which is to our voltage reader, which will allow us to monitor both of our batteries when we're on the road from the dash up here. Last but not least, now that we have all of our wires on, we're gonna add in the securing plate for our dual battery tray. And this will ensure that none of this moves around while we're on the road. Now that our dual battery setup is connected, you can see that our starter battery has power. And if we flick this switch here, we can monitor our auxiliary battery as well.
now that our Red Arc system and dual battery system is completely installed, we're going to put the lid back on the seat and if our Red Arc works as well as it did last time, we won't have to think about our batteries or if we're going to be able to start up our vehicle at all on this, this next trip or any of our next expeditions in Tango. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and if you're doing your own dual battery setup, I hope that it you know gives a little bit of insight into how simple it can be. Good luck out there, have fun on the trails and thanks for watching.